ولا جون جون انت اللي هتقدم ولا مسلمي انا مش سامعك يا مسلمي جون توم توم با اي دونت هير يو مش سامعينك توفيق كلم مسلمي right now i recall yes please talk يا مسلمي talk to hear you let's hear you We have only 30 minutes to finish. Okay, Inclu you hear, you, you hear yes, me now? Please. Yes, yes, okay. please. Okay, sorry, there's uh, something wrong in my mic. Yes, okay, okay. now it's... Uh, okay. now. I, I, I will present this case in the state of uh, Dr. John, okay? Uh, wait. Dr. Boni, can you translate for the audience in French, please? These are, this is one of my best fellows. Okay. He just got a certificate in devices. And uh, he is an he will become an eminent uh, electrophysiologist very soon. It is, uh, it is uh, a five year old child history of congestive heart failure with rapid drop in AF. Okay, I, I am just here. Now it's moving. No. Not Go to moving. the next slide. No. Okay. This not moving. No. no. Stop sharing okay. and, and share again. Okay. Stop sharing. New share. Yeah. Okay. Stop sharing first and then share again. Okay. Mm. I will stop share. Okay. Ah, ah, yes. Okay. I will stop share. Right. Okay. Ah, خلاص هون تعملته. يلا share again. Now it's moving? Yes, but this is another case. This is the this same case. case. Okay, yes. good. A yes. five-year-old uh, child with history of congestive heart failure with rapid drop in ejection fraction. Echo showed a global hypokinesia with ejection fraction 25%. With failed medical treatment, he was uh, on beta blocker and the amiodarone resting ECG as seen here. It is, uh, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Euh, donc, euh, Kenmark. Alors, donc ici, là, c'est une tachycardie atriale incessante chez un euh, sujet de 5 ans euh, avec euh, une cardiomyopathie dilatée et une FEVG à 25 Donc, euh, il y a eu un traitement par bêta bloquant et un myodarone, mais qui n'a pas pu résoudre le problème. Next. Okay. Next. This is the ECG. Share the slide oh. completely. Il y a le caisse. Hot caisse. OK. Donc, vous voyez le CG. OK. 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 Like this. OK. 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 Okay, showed insistent ETL tachycardia. Here also. Donc, une tachycardia incessante. Mm -hmm. Voici le deuxième uh, tracé. Okay. And the... This, okay, mm -hmm. localization. Mm -hmm. Localization of ETL tachycardia. Okay, uh, we use this algorithm to localize the ETL tachycardia. First of all, we look uh, at V1 and uh, determine if it is negative or positive negative or negative positive or iso positive or iso or positive. Donc voici l'algorithme qu'ils ont utilisé pour essayer de euh, donc de localiser la l'origine la, de la tachycardie. Okay. Uh, if V1 is negative, we look uh, at V2 to V4. If positive, V wave in V2 uh, to V4, okay, with negative in V1, uh, it, uh, may, it mostly come from presta terminalis, okay. 
Donc, si le, comme ils avaient le, le, en V1, on avait une onde P négative et en, de V2 à V4, elle était positive. Euh, donc, ça veut dire que très probablement, la localisation au niveau du crystal terminalis. OK. If the negative in V2 and V4, OK, and the negative also in all inferiorly, it mostly come from a tricuspid annulus. Donc, s'il y a une négativité, non seulement en V1, mais également en V2, V4, et puis les zones, enfin, les, en, il y a aussi une négativité dans les dérivations inférieures, donc ça vient probablement de, de, de la note cuspide. OK, but if negative in V1 to V4, but uh, positive or uh, in inferior lead, it mo mostly maybe come from right atrial appendage or uh, tricuspid annulus. Alors, si les dérivations inférieures ne sont pas négatives, euh, mais plutôt donc positives, ça viendrait donc de la note cuspide ou alors de, de la... Enfin, l'auricule droit, l'appendice de l'oreille droite. OK. So, uh, to summarize, negative V1, if, uh, if looks like neg negative in V1, V wave is negative, mostly come from right side, maybe crystal terminalis or tri with annulus or right atrial appendage. It depends on V2 to V4. If positive, it come from crystal terminalis. If... Uh, Négative, it may be come from tricuspid annulus or right atrial uh, appendage. OK. Donc, dans tous les cas de figure, à partir du moment où il y a une négativité en V1, donc ça vient de l'oreille de, de droite. Euh, maintenant, euh, si la négativité en V2, V4, euh, elle est aussi là, on a un trisac terminalis, mais si on est positif, alors qu'on va maintenant discriminer par rapport aux dérivations inférieures. Maintenant, selon les dérivations inférieures, ça peut être au niveau de, de la note cuspide ou alors euh, ça peut être au niveau de la note cuspide ou de l'appendice de l'oreille droite. OK. And uh, uh, now we will go for positive V1, just to, more, to be more understandable. OK, we said that it's negative, come from right side. The positive, it mostly come from left side, okay? So positive in, in uh, the end of the screen, positive V1, okay, it come mainly from CS body or left pulmonary vein, left atrial appendage, okay, right pulmonary vein, or uh, crystal terminalis in some way, okay? So if negative come from right side and positive mainly come from left side, either left pulmonary vein, okay, or right pulmonary vein, left atrial appendage, and CS uh, body. Donc, si on est maintenant uh, positif en V1, donc on est du côté gauche, et maintenant selon la, la morphologie en D2 uh, ou en V1, est-ce qu'on a, a des zones bifides ou pas? Uh, et puis, si on a une négativité au niveau des zones de, euh, inf... enfin, des dérivations inférieures ou pas, on peut être au niveau du sinus coronaire, on peut être au niveau donc de, euh, de, 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 de veines, euh, enfin, de l'appendice de, de l'auricule gauche euh, ou de la, la veine euh, pulmonaire euh, euh, supérieure euh, ou alors la, la droite. Euh, donc, ça, ça dépend. Mais toujours, tu dis que on est du côté gauche si le, le V1 est négatif. OK. So we said that negative come from right side, positive come from left side, and the iso, isoelectrical line, OK, uh, it come from septum, right, septum prenodal. I think it looks like easy right now. Donc si on est iso en V1, donc on est certainement au niveau donc, du, du septum. Et donc, le, la, la zone péri euh, euh, annulaire. OK. Uh, it will remain positive negative or negative positive. If positive negative in V1, P wave is positive, start with positive deflection, then become negative deflection, it mostly comes from cresta terminalis. And if negative positive, we wait for iso or positive, 
look like uh, looks to AVL if negative, if uh, positive CSOS or uh, LS lower set. Donc si on est postérieur et plus négatif, euh, on est au niveau de la kista terminalis. Okay, see here that is the most common uh, location of atrial tachycardia. As we see, uh, we we will see that it's most common from right pulmonary vein is 23% and cresta terminalis 20%. That is the most common site for, for atrial tachycardia, cresta terminalis 20%, okay? And right pulmonary vein, 23%. La localisation la plus fréquente de tachycardia atriale, c'est au niveau de la crista terminalis, dans 20% des cas, et puis donc de la, la, la veine pulmonaire droite euh, supérieure, en plus euh, dans 23% des cas. Mm. And the second most common uh, location is from coronary sinus ostium, 13%. Donc, le sinus coronaire n'est pas euh, exemple justement de, de, de manifestation donc de ces arythmies. Donc, euh, ils en ont trouvé dans 13% des cas. OK. According to uh, recent SVT guidelines, Kessler ablation is recommended for recurrent focal atrial tachycardia, especially if incessant or causing tachycardia uh, cardiomyopathy. Donc, c'est une classe 1, un niveau de preuve euh, B, euh, de, faire, euh, de proposer une ablation des tachycardies atriales incessantes parce que elles, euh, focales incessantes, parce qu'elles euh, sont la cause non négligeable de cardiomyopathie euh, dilatée, donc ce qu'on appelle les cardiomyopathies euh, rythmiques. Okay. Uh, the session for this patient, this very young uh, patient, five years, is to go for ablation with high risk consent as patient is very young, okay, but he had uh, severe cardiomyopathy, uh, tachycardia in use. So we go for uh, ablation under high risk consent. Okay, it's a procedure. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, okay it's a procedure. Uh, we started with left femoral vein access uh, for insertion of decapolar caster for mapping of area of CSOs and right femoral vein uh, access used for insertion of five range ablation caster. Okay. Hello? Okay. The ECG. Okay. Okay. That is the, the floro. Uh, the decapolar caster here. Dr. Musalami, you can yes. make it bigger. Bigger, Double. okay. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, too much. I, I, uh, okay. Okay. Donc, okay. il y a la, la décapolaire qui est, qui est mise au niveau du sinus coronaire. Hmm. Et l'ablation. Et vous voyez le cathéter d'ablation qui est. Voilà, l'ablation est euh, 7 French, not 5 French. 7, ça va. Okay. Oui, le, 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 le cathéter d'ablation est 7 French, c'est ça? Oui, oui. oui. Voilà. Mm. Il y a le, vous savez, I am I, on ne voit plus. The... Ah, on ne voit pas l'image. Ah, on I don't, know. I don't know. Stop that. I will. I will. I will. Mm. I will share it again. Okay. That's this video and uh, maybe something wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Appear right okay. now. Okay. Okay. Now it's clear. Yes. This uh, decapolar caster is engaged in uh, 
in the CSOs, not fully engaged, okay? And ablation caster with uh, supporting uh, long sheath is also in mapping uh, the CSOs, okay? Here, we try to make uh, the, the first A signal uh, was in uh, chronic sign and decapolar caster one, two distal uh, pools. Okay. And we try to take uh, uh, application caster uh, signal before the early signal in the distal caster. Uh, I want to no. say okay. the, the, the decapolar caster is just mm. engaging the CSOs. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm. It is just at the os. os. Not so fully engaged. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 And we got the early signal at signal. CS12, One. which yes. is equal to the CS ostium. Yes. <laughs> we were mapping with the ablation mm. caster very close to it in mm. order to get an earlier signal mm. than this one. Yes. And you can see, had the previous slide, Yabni? A previous slide. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Just wait, wait. Yes. Alors, le, la, la sonde, la sonde, la décapolaire, qui est normalement euh, utilisée pour localiser, enfin, le sinus coronaire, est mise juste à l'entrée, donc à l'ostium du sinus coronaire. Donc, on n'est pas rentré vraiment à l'intérieur du euh, de, de, de sinus coronaire, mais vraiment juste à l'ostium. C'est posé là. Et puis, la sonde d'ablation est également juste à ce niveau. Et on essaie d'avoir la... la, 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 la l'activation la, 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 la plus précoce au niveau de la sonde d'ablation. Oui, oui, c'est vrai. Et maintenant, uh, we localized the ECG that the, the tachycardia is negative, the P wave, the, the tachycardia P wave is negative in 2, 3 AVF and positive mm. negative in V1, Hathena. So I from the beginning, as uh, Dr. Bra uh, said, you have to have a plan in your mind. Now we look at the P wave in the inferior leads. We show for what, like, inferior leads. Yes, okay. two, three AVF negative. Yes, go down. Hey. Mm -hmm. And V1 is negative positive mm -hmm. or positive. So we said the most common arrhythmia in this child, in these children, incessant one is coronary sinus ostia. So, and this confirms. So, we went directly to the site. This was conventional ablation, not 3D, because of economic uh, constraints in our country and because we used to do atrial tachycardia conventional. We, 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 we are using the electrograms, the fluoro, in order to reach the site. And Mohammed was showing the fluoroscopy picture, the CS12 the distal poles are just in the ostium mm. and the ablation is moving around it mm. in order to get a better earlier signal than the one got here. And we measure this signal to the P wave. The signal you get in atrial tachycardia, which is a focal atrial tachycardia, should be earlier than the P wave with, with some good measurements, like 20 yes. milliseconds. And now milliseconds. We, we measure it in 31 milliseconds. Before P -wave. From the beginning of the P wave. So yes. we, we thought this is a good site and mm. we started to deliver energy. Uh, yes, we started ablation and uh, terminate the tachycardia during the ablation. And, and, that and he used lower energy because he is a child. He's five yes. years old. Yes. He came from Libya. I think he was from Libya. Mm. Yeah, he was from Libya. And he had this incessant tachycardia and depressed left the ventricular function because he had tachycardia-induced cardiomyopathy. With cardiomyopathy, yeah. Yes. And we, we had to ablate him because he was trying all yeah. medications in Libya yeah. and no one succeeded to terminate it. So we have to go and ablate him in order that his left ventricular function comes back to normal. And we yeah. followed him, this child, and we were lucky that his his ejection fraction ha is being improving. Improve. Yes. It will take about three to four months to go back to normal. Yes. What uh, is the American sinus? We hear 
we applied during tachycardia using 25 to 30 watts with a gated tip yes. caster for yeah. one minute and uh, that terminate tachycardia. Here is junctional rhythm, then sinus return again. Okay. You can compare the the P wave of the wave, sinus, yes. the second yes. one, uh, and yes, the P yes. wave, yes, A, upright one. in two, three, mm. A. Mm. And mm. here, positive, look at the V1, P wave of V1 mm. of the last beat of the tachycardia. Yes. Tachycardia. Tachycardia. Tachycardia here, yes. A, a, a negative, positive. And look at the P wave of the sinus beat, second sinus beat is negative. Mm. Yes. So immediately, you know, mm. uh, Yani, look, uh, that you ablated it. Then what you did, Muhammad, next? Okay, we uh, do a post-ablation study. We hear uh, we are spacing. Uh, and you induced uh, it again. Uh, and then we ablate again and determinate yes. it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And post-ablation study here. Okay, we try to uh, first, it's your first spacing. Okay. Uh, here, not capturing uh, here. Uh, not uh, capturing. Okay. Yes. And the, and here, uh, that it's is the uh, it's 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 stimulus. stimulus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then uh, it's your uh, pacing. Best pacing. Very, okay. Very pacing. Okay. And then the super pacing. Okay. By ablation, Kester. Okay. We put the application tester inside the RV, okay, and... Uh, we, you, you paste with uh, ablation catheter? Yes, from RV. Just to, to finish the study. Uh, to only. finish the study. Post ablation yes. study. Post ablation study. Yeah. Okay. We use Iso also isoprenaline yes. in yes. order to initiate any tachycardia, and we were lucky there was not nothing yet. Hmm. This is the left anterior yes. oblique view of the ablation site, yeah, Muhammad. Can I, you run it? Is it a video? Video, but it, I don't know why it's not. Uh, okay, so. Okay. Yeah, the ablation caster is inside the. Yes, the ablation caster is inside the. Yes, the ablation caster is inside the. Yes, the ablation caster is inside the. Okay. So, Dr. Boni, this is tachycardia induced cardiomyopathy in a five year old Libyan child mm. who had it since years, failed medical treatment. And we were forced to do him the ablation. And the, the site of the tachycardia was the CS ostium, successfully ablated. We did a post-ablation study in order to make sure that there is no uh, focus, uh, is not inducible. And we are following up the child in Libya with his doctor. And he told us that his injection fraction has increased, uh, but still not normal. And we are following him by echo. Shukran, Meva, please yeah. show again the algorithm, the localization algorithm. Please. Okay, I will, I will see. I will show. I will show it again. Okay. Mm. The, the, the localization algorithm is simple. You have to think first, is it left side or right side? If it is left atrium or right atrium, by the P wave in V1. If V1 is negative, this is right atrium. If V1 is positive, this is left atrium. If it is positive, negative or negative, positive, so this is CS. Because the CS, ostium is in the right side and, and the body is in the left side. So if, if, it is by, if it is flat or isoelectric, then you are looking at the septum or the avenue. This is the first step. Then you look at the inferior leads. If they all negative, 2, 3 FEF, so this is from below from lower part, like uh, CS ostium mm. or inferior, inferior pulmonary veins. If they are all positive, so maybe higher crista, uh, if they are, and any, any or superior pulmonary veins. It's simple. No, no, Mevat, no, okay. yes. just a question. Oui. Uh, we, 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 we saw that we have uh, in the ECG negative, no, negative, positive uh, or in V1. That is that is right. Yes. It actually, and it was it, it was not clear. It, it we were confused. But at the point of ablation, you can see it was positive, and the sinus was negative. Hatia Muhammad, yeah. Where is V1 here? Where is V1 here? V1. V1 here. is not clear. It's not clear. Oh, yes. But it showed show us in the ablation when it terminated. 
terminated. Yeah. Okay, but here yes. also, if negative positive, it come may come from CSOs. Yes, negative, my negative positive, positive or, or post positive uh, negatives. Both maybe. are the same. Oh yeah, I will uh, bring it uh, in ablation. Okay. Just, just please, please, uh, listen me, listen me. We have negative positive. Uh, uh, show, show the 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 El algorithm, uh, algorithm please. Okay. El algorithm. Show the algorithm. Oh, algorithm. Just yeah. is to 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 fix what we just learned. Very interesting case. So we had negative positive in V1, and we had negative in inferior lead. That is correct. Yes. So this um, picture in ECG, uh, what we can match it with the uh, algorithm we have here, because finally you ablate uh, CS. Uh, but the uh, where in this in this algorithm, so we can say that as we have negative positive, uh, uh, it can be. It can be CS or uh, LS, but I don't see the negative um, inferior leads in this uh, no in this side of your algorithm. Okay, here here uh, uh, see my arrow. If yes. positive, okay, benefit in. Uh, two no, no one. positive, no positive. Okay, we are okay, dealing with okay, negative okay. positive. It's okay, going in V one. Okay, it but was... here I, I will I will give you the answer. Okay, okay. okay. Here in CS body, okay, uh, it may come negative in all in in all inferior leads, and here negative positive CSOs. Okay, but regarding the patient, the patient is the uh, very young. Okay, yes. the the axis of the heart. In children, not fully fit the uh, access in the other, and yes. also, okay, the as the patient had dilated cardiomyopathy, it will change the cardiac access. Yes. So you will not in if you will not see in every case yes. the same localization. It okay. depends according. Uh, uh, mainly the cardiac axis and the cardiac axis will it change according to size of the heart, okay, dilated or not dilated, okay, and uh, the size of the body all over, okay, so it may be different, okay, from one to one. You you understand? Yes. Okay. Okay, but here we have to to think that you are confused about it. We yes. you told that. Uh, why CS uh, uh, in inferior lead B wave is negative? Okay, yes. here B wave uh, uh, inferior lead B wave in negative. Okay, it will come in CS body. Okay, mm. Mm. okay, and here negative positive. Okay, it will it will not mention. He didn't mention the 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 direction of B wave inferior mm. inferior leads. Mm. Okay, but here if you merge both together. It will give you the side, okay? Mm. Okay. 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 That, that, that's that's a very interesting, nice uh, case. Okay. 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 This is the end of uh, the cases to tonight. It's eight o'clock, Doctor Bonnie. Yes. And, and we recorded everything uh, for the fellows to uh, study uh, with the recordings. Thank you very much, David Bradley and Dr. Bra, Dr. Embor. Yeah. Good night. Merci, merci beaucoup à tout le monde. Et à, et à jeudi prochain. Merci tout le monde. Bon courage. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup à tout le monde. Et à la... Merci, merci, merci. Merci, merci, merci pour votre bonne journée. Merci. Merci à tout le monde. Tout le monde, Yann.